The fight to keep short-term rentals out of Jersey City out in full force Thursday, a rally in support of a ballot initiative which aims to regulate companies like Airbnb, brought nearly 100 residents and activists to a neighborhood they say is hurting because of short-term rentals. This brownstone officials say currently being used as an Airbnb hotel by a landlord who lives in Manhattan. And the more places that go to an Airbnb process, the fewer places are available for the rest of us. In the past few years, short-term rentals have skyrocketed in Jersey City. Just four years ago, there were about 300 listings. Today, just over 3,000. It's one of the reasons why the city council passed an ordinance over the summer calling for new restrictions on these rental services. That ordinance challenged by a successful referendum petition, which now sends the law to the ballot box. We've tried to stay in Jersey City when a lot of other relatives have, have moved away just because it's too expensive for them. Keep Our Homes, a committee backed by the city's short-term rental community, has launched an aggressive campaign pushing back, claiming the law is influenced by the New York hotel lobby. It's a form of, we believe, economic discrimination, and we think it's going to hurt so many people who are, use home sharing as a way to get by in a place where there's a high cost of living and where uh, property taxes are going through the roof too. Now both sides say they will continue to get their message out on the pros and cons of this ordinance leading up to election day on November 5th. Airbnb reportedly spending $1 million on their campaign in just the next 10 days. In Jersey City, I'm Andrew Ramos, Fix 11 News.